So the internet is something that a lot of us probably take for granted. Whether you use it to look up news, to shop or more, imagine not having access to it. Well, that's actually a reality for several people in northern Baltimore County, but thanks to a grant, they'll finally get connected. It's like you're living in a third world country, being in Baltimore County and not having internet. Mary Petrucci lives in northern Baltimore County and lives in one of hundreds of homes that do not have access to high-speed broadband internet service. I would go to the public library when I could, once, maybe twice a week, and have to check emails and do all of my computer work basically at the library. I know people who have moved because they couldn't deal with not having Wi-Fi for their children to keep up with their school assignments. It was certainly a big factor in values of property. But soon that's about to change. On Thursday, Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski joined Comcast to announce a $7.4 million grant from the state that will support expansion of broadband service to 450 homes in northern Baltimore County, and that includes Petrucci's home. Now this is fantastic. When this broadband uh, grant is fully implemented, almost 99% of our residents will have connectivity to broadband. Johnny O says that breaking the digital divide has been a priority, especially since the pandemic. The pandemic has made it clear that for transportation um, needs and lining up rides for health care services, for people's jobs, for education and for schools, having access to high quality broadband is almost as important as electricity and water and other basic infrastructure. He says there's 1% of homes left that need service, and that includes Judy Siegel's. We literally at times rotate cell phone hotspots just to stay connected. The ability to even stream your movies and TV shows is not even on our radar. They spoke with Johnny O, and he says the county won't stop until every home is connected. Right now, many here are looking forward to finally getting connected. This is a game changer. It, it really is. Now, this is actually the third phase of a three-phase project, and it's expected to be completed by 2025. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.